Hello and in this video, we are going to learn a few things about working with watermarks in Word. So first, let's learn how to insert a watermark. Now whenever we want to insert something, our first impulse is to click on insert and then try to look for the watermark option. But there isn't any. Now this is because watermark actually belongs to the design tab. So we'll need to click on design instead and then look to the right and you will see the watermark options there. Click on this and you will see some popular sample templates already there. So in this case, I'm going to choose the first one, which is confidential. There it is. Okay. Now, if you do not see the watermark template you want, you can also make your own custom template. Just click on watermark, go to custom watermark. And in here, I'm going to choose a text watermark. And because I want a draft watermark, so I will type a draft instead. Okay, now I want the watermark to be clearly visible, so I'll choose a darker color. Okay, and then click apply, close, and there you have it, a draft watermark. Okay, so now when the draft version becomes final, we will need to remove the draft watermark. It's quite simple. Again, go to watermark. And then click on remove watermark and the watermark is gone. Now, in some cases, we will need to edit a watermark. Now, this is a bit more tricky. We will try to go to watermark and then look for the edit option. But there isn't any. The, the, the few options there allows us to make a custom watermark or remove a watermark, but it does not allow us to edit watermark. Now, of course, the workaround solution could be to remove the existing watermark and then add a new custom watermark, but it is not intuitive and therefore it's not what we want. So if you are like me and want to do things in a more intuitive manner, here's what you can do. First, click anywhere on the top or the bottom of the page, and this will activate the header and footer dialog box. Now then click on the watermark and you will see the word art tools will now appear. Now double click on the watermark again and you will see that the watermark is now being active. And now you can edit the watermark and see the changes instantly. For example, if you want to change the color of this drop watermark. So you just need to go to shape fill and then uh, change it to red for example. Or if you want to make the text bigger, just go to size. So I'm going to change the height. And you can see that the text is now, you know, taller. If you want to change the width, you can also do that instantly. You can also flip it around. Like this. Whatever way you like. And that's it. Happy learning and see you in the next video.